news from Singapore is May 13, Thursday, says economic event. Not much key event today except one, US PPI, 6.1% expected now. Yesterday, two key inflation rate released, one, India, 4.29%, uh, almost same as the consensus, March, 5.5%, pace of inflation down now, lower food prices eases inflation like China. U.S. opposite, 4.2%, uh, higher than the consensus, March, 2.6%, inflation pace really high now, highest level since 2008, these numbers. Vaccine COVID-19, here's the top 10 uh, vaccine global ranking by countries, not much change. But Singapore data was updated, 32% of population vaccinated, 23% fully vaccinated. Here's the top 10 Asian new cases ranking by countries, India still high at the same level, Japan went up. Equity commodity, STI index was closed 3123 yesterday, 0.6% down. City development show sell really high, 55%. Comfort Delgro has a news yesterday, price no change. Chairman said, as a part of the Swash review, we look at the, its global portfolio to see where it can unlock value for shareholders, as well as invest in new tech like uh, renewable energies. For Australia asset, Comfort Delgro thinking about partial sale of asset or IPO. Genty Singapore show sell high. OCBC, yesterday ex dividend day, more than 2% down. ST Engineering yesterday, Q1 new order exceeded pre COVID level that was announced, 0.5% up. Venture Wilma hit the three months low again. Yesterday, she limited uh, to replace Suntec read on MSCI Singapore index on May 27. Those news was announced. Asia stock yesterday, more than 1% up. China edge, more than 1% down. India Nifty, Japan, Philippines, South Korea. US stock yesterday all red, Dow down 2%, S&P down 2.1%, Nasdaq 2.6%, Russell 3.2% down. All sector red, tax down more than 3%. Commodity side, gold, silver price them down, oil up. Future this morning are opposite, down S&P, Nasdaq up, and the commodity down. Current side, 1 US dollar 1.33 Singapore dollars, USD appreciated, yes, US dollar index up 90.77 now. Other currency versus US, OZ, New Zealand, Brazil, South Africa, more than 1% depreciate versus US dollars. Interest rate, cyber no much change, solar came off to the 0.1, private property home loan 0.994 floating 1.144 fix, no change. Chevrolet government bond yield 10 year one 1.55%, no change. US 10 year treasury you note, this is change a lot, big change 1.7% now. Thanks for your company, have a good deal and a good day.